But as I got here and I researched a little bit into the organization, I am very impressed and I'm very happy that somebody, Dr. Ajasab and Naid Bhatti and others have taken the initiative to address this extremely important and critical need for our community in this country. What APPAC is trying to do in creating the, the awareness of the importance for political activism in the community is a vital and crucial need of this community. Uh, I think APPAC has introduced a new life in our system here, in the life of overseas Pakistanis, particularly those, well, I would say in the entire stretch of the United States. But because I'm the Council General here, so I get the vibes here, particularly in the tri-state area and the states that fall under my jurisdiction. I think one aspect for which it deserves full praise is introducing the aspect of political awareness, something that has been much spoken of tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, as Council General, I am telling you that Pakistanis in the tri-state area have grown not only in number, but also in stature. So you need to give yourself a round of applause for reaching this position. In terms of style, move with the current. But in terms of principles, stand like a rock. Now, let me relate to this here. Dr. Sahab, you have created an institution and I've seen many institutions and attempts made in the past. Some have withered away, some became a victim of infighting. And this is my humble recommendation to you. That if you want the mission that you have launched and your colleagues standing, sitting on this table, and all of you who will become the members, to last beyond you, that, that goes, just stick with the style. Your style is important, you will do whatever American life must do. But it's the principles. It's the values which must become the anchor of your mission. The values of democracy and freedom and liberty and rule of law and justice. That should be the values which should also guide you so that long after all of you are gone, the institution and this work and this mission continues. He has done a lot for various causes which are close to the Muslim's heart which are close to the American people as they struggle with civil rights and civil liberties issues. So I want to avail the opportunity to thank you, Congressman, for your service to the community in general and the American population at large.